Bill Maher absolutely destroys CNN. I'm John Mike Keen here to demolish the left, and we're going to get Trump elected thanks to liberals like Bill Maher telling the truth for a second. You made press because you were on Stephen Colbert's show, and he said something like, um, you guys at CNN just report the news straight, and the crowd burst into laughter. The crowd mocked them. Here's that clip from Steve Colbert, just to refresh your memory. I know you guys are objective over there, that you just report the news as it is. <laughs> oh, I know. CNN makes a... I know is that this, supposed to be a laugh line? I wasn't supposed to be, but uh, I guess it is. This is the general American public, including liberals, are laughing at the liberal coverage. In other words, the CNN snow job, no one's buying it, and Bill Maher's calling it out. Look, I'm on CNN now. I guess we're on it right now. <laughs> I mean, they show this show the next night. I don't know yeah. how they. I don't know how we get away with it with all the. It's okay, Bill Maher. You're going to get paid by CNN. You don't have to go that soft on them. But they do, uh, <laughs> and all these dirty jokes. Uh, but I'm glad, and and I'm a big rooter for CNN. I don't see why you'd root for CNN when they're liberal bias. You're you're undermining your own point. But. That tells you a lot, doesn't it? I mean, how do, how do you guys think you are doing is in that arena of like, this is a terribly divided country. We're not only politicized. A lot of people just hate the other side. And CNN, in my view, should be the place where both sides can watch. Both sides aren't going to watch because CNN are one of the sides that hate Trump. And everyone knows it who watches. Even liberals have to know it. How do you think you're doing with that? How is CN CNN is the place where both sides can watch. And, and I think, you know, my show is evidence of that. We have lawmakers on from both parties. We'll have Elizabeth Warren on one, one night. We'll have Ted Cruz on uh, another night. CNN is a place where both sides could watch, but they don't. They can watch, but they don't if you look at the ratings. I think lawmakers from both parties yeah. should take questions and that you should push both of them. But, but on the on CNN being a place of credibility, I mean, look at what just happened in Chicago. We had 300 people from CNN on the ground covering that convention. 300 people on the ground and only two of them were from the right. There were several reporters from just our team alone on the floor uh, bringing it in real time to people. And I think CNN puts resources behind things and just brings a level of news that you don't get anywhere else. No, you get it from all news. That's the problem. It's all liberal, guys. It's all liberal propaganda. That's not unique what CNN does. What Fox News does might be unique, but CNN does the same thing as every other mainstream news outlet. And, and I think CNN does Yeah, but I'm, I'm talking about the people on CNN and what I, I know what the conservative side of America thinks, and I don't blame them. So there Bill Maher nails it. It is the point of view of the 300 people on CNN covering the news that are all slanting it against Trump. I watched Kamala's speech last night. It ended at 8.09, well, I guess 11.09 in the East. It wasn't until 11.23 till the, conser the one conservative guy, what's his name? Scott Jennings. This lonely Scott, I call him. David Urban was there too. Wait a second. And lonely Scott Jennings got a laugh out of Bill Maher's audience because they all know he really is alone on an island on, at CNN. Wait a second. I watched from 8.09 to 8.23, they were just gushing about how great a speech it was. And I think she did fine. I didn't think it was as good as they were making it out to be. I don't think she even did fine. It was, she didn't have any content to her speech. It was all emotion. And CNN was there cheerleading, cheerleading her for... 15 minutes, as Bill Maher said. But if I'm a conservative in America and I'm watching CNN just for the straight middle of the road, that's what I hear for 15 minutes is it's great. And then Lonely Scott. <laughs> Everyone sees it. And Bill Maher is trying to save CNN. He's actually trying to do you a favor. And they are not going to hear this. They're going to negate him the whole time as if he's crazy. It does look, I mean, and when you see the pat, it does look like tokenism. It's kind of like the same as The View. It's like it's almost better to have nobody there, like MSNBC, than to have this. And with The View, yeah, they've always had a, a token conservative. And these days, it's the, even the token conservatives are against Trump. So what's the point? Well, I don't think you can, I don't think you can say... I don't think you could say it's better to have nobody there and then also lament the fact that you don't think the conservative guy, Scott Jennings, who is great, and, and we have him on my show all the time, 
spoke up early enough. She's not going to give you a reason why it's not good that uh, Scott Jennings didn't speak up early enough. She has to keep her job. She cannot criticize CNN and be on CNN. She's just making sure she gets a pay raise this year. I, I think it was a Democratic convention. They well, turned to Democrats, people like David Axelrod, who ran successful presidential Democratic campaigns first for, for their analysis of this. And I don't think that you can say that, that CNN is anything but fair. But she just now used David Axelrod as an example of their fairness, and he worked for Obama. So she's still not making the point. She's still not listening to Bill Maher. I mean, look at that. We covered President Biden's exit from the race very closely, the pressure on him to get out. And I feel like I can speak with authority on this. I'm from Alabama. I'm from a very red state. I have a very conservative family. A lot of them who are Trump voters, they watch my show every night. Okay, so she used as her defense that they put they covered the pressuring of Biden to get out. But that's what Democrats wanted. They wanted him out. So it's not being breaking news or it all just, and then she uses her family as an example. My family watches too. Look, if my daughter was a liberal pundit, I would watch her every night because she's family, not because she does the news fairly. And, and I think they know that they can, they can trust me that, you know, we call bullshit on every side, not just whatever leaning our, our audience may be. And, and I think that's something that people actually want more of is to hear from that. Why would they want more of it if they were getting it already? They're not getting it. That's why they want more of it. I think Scott's voice is really important, but I think other voices are important to hear from. And everyone who, who was speaking last night, it's not like they were all Democrats. I mean, Dana Bash, Jake Tapper. She said it's not like there are not Democrats. And then she names two de Democrats. Dana Bash and Jake Tapper. For Abby Phillip, all my amazing colleagues. They come across Giving that way. analysis. They come across that way. In a moment like that, it was like five to one. It always looks like five to one. Okay, I'll move on. He's going to move on because it's a lost cause trying to put some sense into her or CNN. It comes across as five to one. And that I think those numbers are actually being generous. If you look at all of CNN's coverage, it's more like 20 to one liberals to conservative. I'm John Mike Keen. Make sure you subscribe and leave your comments below.